What's up guys, and today we got the Combine Will Fuller, and this one is, I'm so sorry it took me so long to get this one out, but it's not going to be a long video for obvious reasons. Um, 6 foot tall, 94 speed, 90 catch, 88 release, 92 jump, 88 catch in traffic, 93 spectacular, 86 elusiveness, and 88 route running. And the reason that it, it will not be a long video is because it's not going to be hard to figure out what this guy is going to do best, but I'm still going to, you know, uh, show you how he did in other areas. This right here is where he struggled the most, which is not surprised with catching in traffic. He had a few good plays, no doubt about it. I'm not saying that it's impossible for him to hold on to the ball, but don't turn him into a slot player. That's obviously not what this card is for. And of course, he will be to the far left the entire video. So look to the far left, that's where he's going to be. Now, route running was a bit better than I thought it was. It's only an 88 route running on his card, but to me, man, I was, I was kind of impressed how, how much separation he got. And the same thing goes with the release. But honestly, I think the release and the press, that really goes, you know, it depends who the corner is. You know, for someone like Deion Sanders, not surprised if he gets a clean release there. And of course, what he did best, man, that speed. Whether you send him deep like this or across the middle and man-to-man. -man, if your opponent is doing, doing a lot of man-to-man, -man, you know, don't be afraid to put him on a slant in the slot. That's the only time it's okay to put him in the slot if it's a lot of man-to-man. -man. If it's zone, that's a different story. And... As far as run blocking, guys, he was not a good run blocker. Don't lean on him in a clutch moment for run blocking. Even corners were, you know, pushing him aside and blowing up the run. And, guys, also keep in mind, this is without the 40-yard dash chemistry boost. I showed you guys in the beginning. This is without the chemistry boost. And look at the separation he's getting. So, if, if you get that chemistry boost up, he'll be even that much more effective. And, of course, a good deep throw quarterback does help, too. And this play right here, this really does show what he can do. Look at the entire... or pretty much the entire secondary chasing him down that's my favorite play of him because that really shows what he can do uh, for you so that's gonna wrap this up guys and right now he goes for like 80,000 between 80 and 90,000 that's not too bad uh, considering what he can do and yes this was not a long video but some players you just go into it knowing what they're gonna do best and it did not take long to figure out what that was so guys my next review is going to be the uh, all-rookie Jordan Howard. In my previous video, I showed you he's in my lineup. And on defense, it's going to be Golden. Um, is it Marcus Golden? Yeah. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys then, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will do that podcast uh, face cam video extremely soon. And I'll see you boys then, man. Peace.